Hello, my name is Jeff Coots. I'm at Jackson Independent School District. I've been involved in education for over 22 years. I've taught high school in mathematics, chemistry, and physics. I've been the technology coordinator for Jackson uh, for the last 18 years. And for the last three and a half years, I've been the uh, ARI's innovation coordinator. So my project, bringing down the walls, uh, wasn't just something that I came up with overnight, but it came through some discussions that I had with our superintendent. And we are trying to brainstorm some ideas about some innovative ideas on how we could actually make our district a lot better. And then through these conversations that I was having with him, I noticed that we have a lot of space around our district that's not being used. And the spaces that are being used are not being used effectively. And one of these spaces that is being used but not being used effectively is this area located next to a board office. And as you can see in the photo here, the uh, space has a greenhouse and some plants and stuff like that. But the issue that we're having right now is that students, uh, you know, it's having a hard time coming down here or that the greenhouse is in an area in which we really don't get enough sunlight and so forth. And so our thoughts were, when we were discussing, let's move our greenhouse and these items closer to the school. But then we have this big area. And you can see over in this picture the area that uh, it, it's empty. And right now it's not empty. It's, uh, it looks just like this, but we're in the process of getting it to look like this. So what do we do with this empty space? How do we maximize this? And, as we were sitting and discussing, he had brought up outdoor classrooms and so forth, and something in my head said, hey, uh, amphitheater. And, I, and I, it could have been because I had visited uh, a school up in Clark County, and I saw how they had taken the landscape and made it to, into some beautiful structures and stuff, and I thought, well, we could do this uh, as well. And so as we were discussing and all this, I know that ARI, with their grants that they have, one of the things that they were focusing on was like classroom renovations, changing how things are done. And so I thought, hey, what better way to use some funds, but hey, let's just break down the walls because you know, like everything else, we sit inside the classroom every day, four walls. We're bound by those walls. But we want to experience, we want to enrich, we want to engage our students something more than just sitting in the classroom. And so when it came to this ideal, you know, I, I started thinking, hey, amphitheater, and, and truthfully, the big thing is, is that we could use it for drama, because we really don't have any places for drama. Uh, I know we just did some plays and stuff in middle school, and they had to go to the cafeteria, they had to to schedule the space and so forth, and it really wasn't that kind of Shakespearean type setting. And I thought high school, wouldn't it be really great to have these opportunities to go outside and have these, put on these plays and then have this structure so that we can sit and watch and so forth. And so that's how the ideal started developing. But the more I thought about, the more that we could use it for even more things. And as I started thinking, I said, well, you know, what if we had reading time outside? Teachers could come, sit with their students, let them sit in the spots here where we have, and they could actually read to those kids, but at the same time, we could use it as an outdoor classroom to roll in some type of whiteboard onto the structure, and so that the teacher could actually teach class outside, so you're no longer being held inside those bounds. So I was trying to think, how can I help? preschool through high school and have and hit as many different kids in as many different ways as we could. Well, of course, going outside, we can start with the structures, of how it's going to be laid out and designed and so forth. And so I said, hey, that could be mathematics. We could have debates out here. So, I mean, you're looking at different types of uh, things in which getting those students engaged, but having that freedom to be outside. And so, I kept thinking more and more, and I said, wait a minute, what if we like, kind of had like a movie night with a 
family life. And so we could have this structure in which we could have like a screen up and then we could actually have a projector up on the top projecting to that screen and add some speakers around. And so we could actually watch family movies. We could actually watch student productions that have been created. You know, one of our biggest productions that we made uh, a couple of years ago was The Lion King and our students and faculty and so forth were all engaged in this. What better way than to have this being broadcast on this screen, uh, outdoors and so forth. And so having the popcorn popping and, and things like that that would engage the community. So you could pull them in late at night or late in the afternoon and so forth. But at the same time then, all this came about. So how do we build this? How are we going to restructure this? So a couple of the things that we had worked on and looked at several ideas from uh, Google, of course, and, and looking at several of these different types of amphitheaters, uh, as you can see in this one diagram, that there's some information inside it that says, hey, we could, and this is one possible situation, we could build this little concrete structure around in which we would fill it up with dirt, level it off, and then the next level up the same way, and the next level up the same way, but then we would keep the grass look, we keep it natural. So that when students came out, it still has that natural feel. And then we thought about cleaning out up the shrubs and trees here, because we're gonna have to do that. So these are some things that you know we were planning on doing. And then we also looked at building some type of small stage in which they could. Now if we didn't have the money due to the fact of getting this piece done, then the stage could come later. But at the same time, we really want to have, to have a stage so that it makes it feel like there is a production going on. And so that way the students could have this. And again, this is just one drawing that I have actually taken with Adobe and using an iPad Air, in which I took the structure of the original and I used some techniques of taking out the pictures. And then, as you saw on the one where it's empty, and then drawing using the iPad. Um, the structures that could be. Another discussion that we had was that we would take and maybe try to look for block, special block. It's no longer being used and so forth. And we've had our superintendent and our maintenance department looking for this block. So if we can get that and we can get it free, we may not have to use all our funds for constructing this. But these are some things that, you know, really truthfully uh, we want to do. And when we talk about the outcomes of this project, uh, we look at engagement. We really want to see our students and our faculty and our staff use this area uh, to promote student achievement, getting outdoors, and making students understand that there's more than just sitting behind those four doors. So our plan for this upcoming year is we're bringing down the walls so that we can take back what our students are really missing out on. So, if you've got questions, you can contact me at jeff.coots at jacksonind.kyschools.us or you can call our board office at 606-666. 4979, my extension is 2005. Just leave a message and I'll try to get back to you. And uh, like I said, if you've got any questions or anything or any help or finding these types of block and stuff like that, or if you've done one of these, I'd be more than uh, happy to uh, discuss it with you. So with that, thank you for your time and patience, and I hope you enjoyed this presentation.